Hey guys, I'm Tatsuki. I'm gonna share the history and the culture of Japan in this channel. I want you to use this channel as the first step toward studying history of Japan. Today, I want to introduce Ryoma Sakamoto, who promoted revolution in Meiji period. I previously talked about Nobunaga Oda, who is one of the most popular historical figures in Japan. Ryoma's popularity is almost the same as his. If you ask me, they are really similar in the viewpoint of their minds introducing new things, but Ryoma tried to avoid battle unlike Nobunaga. We can enjoy the difference between them, take away a lot from Ryoma's way of life. You are gonna love it. So are you guys ready? Let's get started. First, I'll talk about the time Ryoma was alive. He was born in 1835 in Tosa, which is in Kochi. In that time, great powers of Europe and America approached Japan to trade. Japan was scared of being colonized but didn't have a military equal to that of great powers. As a result, Japan was able to avoid colonization but a fair treaty was signed with the USA in 1858. Many people have complaints about foreign policy of the Japanese government, and they tried to overthrow it to change Japan. Ryoma Sakamoto took a leading place in the and made Japan strong. When he was 19, Black Fleet came to Japan for the trade. He saw the sight with his own eyes. This was his first time. He felt a sense of danger of foreign countries and he thought he got to do something. Immediately after that, he visited Shoryo Kawada who is familiar with foreign countries and asked him what he should do. His answer is to strengthen Japanese navy to defeat foreign strong fleets. That was how Ryoma got to know the advanced technology and system of foreign countries. He decided to go to a school in Edo to study how to navigate a ship. But the school was stopped soon by Japanese government because the government suspected the students in the school were attempting to overthrow it. In the time there was many people who were hostile to it so he was breaking up suspicious groups. Ryoma resented that and thought he had to change the government. So he visited people who were dissatisfied with it, and he tried to connect them to defeat it. Since some of them didn't like each other, he had a hard time to bring together them. But he eventually achieved it. While he was making the team, he was also thinking about two things. First one is a way to defeat the government without battle. He was always looking for the way to avoid battle. He achieved it by proposing Taisei Hokan. This was a restoration of imperial rule. In that time, Japanese emperor didn't have political power. Yoshinobu Tokugawa, who was the last general of the government, accepted the proposal. And the politics of emperor has lasted until World War II. Second one is about new rules for new government. He was also thinking about the future after Taisei Hokan would be completed. The new rules include parliamentary government, establishment of a constitution, and so on. He was raised in the place where there was a strict hierarchy. So he wanted to realize a fair world. The rules were cruel of his hope and had a great effect on the lives of the Japanese people. I guess he wanted to see how Japan would change more than anyone else. However, he was killed by a known assailant before seeing New Japan. Established theory is that samurai in the old government killed him because he was a threat to them. What a tragedy! This story made an impression on a lot of people, and this is the reason Doma won our heart and mind. Okay, now I want to summarize this talk. Immediately after Ryoma noticed the threat of great powers, he brought together the people who were dissatisfied with the Japanese government, and he came up with the ideas for changing Japan. Taisei Hokan for defeating old government without battle, and new rules for new Japan. Okay, uh, did you enjoy his story? Hope you liked him and the history of Japan. Uh, many thanks for watching this video. Please comment things you want to know about Japan. So, see you next time.